What's going on guys? Mike here with Let's Talk Nerd. Have you guys been sitting at home during quarantine, feeling nostalgic, want to go in that closet, grab that Nintendo 64, you know, hook it up to your TV and play some good old games, but then you realize you can't because you have an RCA jack on it and you have a modern TV or monitor and it just doesn't work? Well, do I have a solution for you guys? Continue watching to find out more. Boop -boop. So basically this is super simple. We'll make this short and quick. Um, to hook up an old video game console, more than likely you have an RCA cable or a coax. Uh, we're going to be talking about an RCA solution, but it's pretty similar for a coax uh, if, you, if you have that as well. Um, so basically you're going to want to get an RCA to HDMI converter. They're available on Amazon. There's a crap ton of them on there. This is the one that I got. Uh, I'll provide a link down in the description. But basically this box is taking the RCA cables that you have for your old console and it's going to convert that over to HDMI so you guys can play it on your monitor or TV whatever you have uh, because if you have if you have a like a monitor or TV from the last like five years you more than likely don't have an RCA input on that you know device um, so this device basically allows you to play these types of things so I've been using this to uh, do my siphon filter let's play if you guys haven't watched it uh, make sure to check it out. It's on my channel. It's excellent. I love Siphon Filter um, and I plan to do uh, some more Let's Plays on some older consoles um, utilizing this device. Um, it's just a really cool device. Um, you know, it's, it's super simple. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up real quick. So as you see here, we have my old PS2 hooked up to this conversion box. The RCA connectors are right here. Uh, so that's going to come from a PS2 to the box. I have an HDMI cable going to my TV, and then uh, it's also supplied with a micro USB to power it, and there's a switch for 1080p and 720p uh, if you want to change the resolution on the box. I usually just keep it set 1080p uh, because that's what I record in, um, so mine's going to a capture card and then to the TV when I'm actually in my setup. So you turn your console on, and it just pops right up on the TV, and then you're playing a old-ass console on a modern TV. Simple as that, super easy. So that's it guys, super simple, super easy to set up. Um, hope it was informative for you guys to know that that technology exists and is out there. I had a question on one of my monitor review videos on how they would hook up an N64 up to this. Uh, so that's kind of why I made this video, just to showcase that this box was out there and that you could play older consoles on newer TVs. Uh, Really anything, anything technology, there's almost always a conversion box if you go out and look for it. I mean, like literally everything converts to something. Uh, people have found a way. So all you have to do is go out and look for it. So I hope this video has been informative. There will be a link in the description for the uh, RCA to HDMI conversion box that I bought. It's not a huge deal if you get another one. It's not like there's different features or anything out there. I can't imagine that there's anything else. I mean... It's pretty standard. It's pretty cheap. So I um, hope this video has been helpful. If it has, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to see more videos. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.